Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ryan. Today I'm going to teach you how to make duct tape bracelets. They're pretty simple to make and all they require are duct tape. You can use either one color or two or you can use multicolored duct tape like there's camouflage and checkerboard. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use two different colors that are very bright pink and blue. What you're going to want to do is pick a color for your base. I'm going to use the blue one, um, only because I have more of it. It doesn't really matter. You can't see the base of it anyway. What you're going to do is get a nice big piece. And it's very important that you wrap it around like right here because that's where it's going to have to slip over your wrist. Shit. And so you're going to want it to be like maybe like this much. So once you have your long piece, you're going to want to hold it like this, like that. So you have some space to roll it over. And you kind of have this kind of shape going on, like a little rectangle. You're going to hold it like a little ring. I um, mean, really big. All right. So you need about like this, this big. For my wrist, everybody's wrist is different. You're gonna take a tiny little bit like this, and then just tape it closed. And this is the point where you're gonna wanna try and slip it on. You're not gonna want it to be so tight because you are gonna increase the width of it a bit. And mine's mine's kind of perfect, so it will actually a little too tight, but there it is. So once you got this piece, you're almost there. You're gonna make the parts of the duct tape bracelet that make it kind of look cool. I'm gonna start with the pink color. You're gonna to wanna to get a piece that's about like this big. You're gonna fold the corner down so that you look at something like this. And fold it down again. Make a little pentagon like that. Once you have this piece, you're almost there. And you just place it on like this. And then fold them in like that. And then you have your first piece down and then follow up with your next color, which is blue in my case. Now you can do more than two colors. You can do like the colors of the rainbow or you can do like five colors. But when you get to the end, it'll be much harder to get. For example, if you have all colors or just like red, orange, yellow, for example, it can be red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, and then you're back to the beginning and have a red again. So it might look weird. So you gotta be careful with how far apart you space them. But then for the next piece, you're gonna place it like this. Try and keep it as even as possible. And then just fold them in again. And you continue doing the rest of the pieces. Probably should have pre-made some pieces for this. have a bit of time when you're doing this. I would say like 20 minutes to top max, like especially if it's your first time. I've actually sold these to my friends for like five dollars a thing. See so yeah, how there's like two pink pieces? I'm gonna try and fit a really small blue piece. I'm gonna show you how to make that. I do a piece thinner than what I've been doing. It's like that thin. That thin. But you basically you fold it the same exact way. Except this part down here is going to be a lot wider. And the whole point of that is that you have a smaller base and you just rip this part in half. And you're left with this. And I pull this down quite a bit just so I can like stick it in there really, really well. And then I fold it in like so. Oh, it's a little too close together, but you get the idea. And to finish it off, I flip it on the inside, and then I'll pick like either the pink or the blue, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna measure it out on here so that I only use as much as I need. And then you're gonna like wrap it around the duct tape bracelet. And this is just to like reinforce the um, flippy flap over things. And then just push it all down, flip it back out. And, and voila, you have your nice, cool little bracelet thing. I guess that's it. Bye, guys.